Peace. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Angel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a full face using my current beauty favorite items. If you guys would like to see it, then just keep on watching. Ooh, thirsty as hell. It's not even the word. So for starters, we're going to use the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizer. This is my favorite moisturizer, you guys. If you've been following me for a while, I've been using this um, forever. And it's actually been in one of my... Uh, skincare routines. So excuse my redness around my mouth area, you guys. I actually just um, removed the stash with like some beet. So it's kind of burning a little bit. I normally do it at nighttime, but I had to do it today. So I wanted my makeup to go on good and look flawless. So my favorite primer has been the Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer. And I'm just going to use this and apply it in my T-zone area. So now for the eyes, I'm going to be taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer and the shade Toffee and I'm going to be using this to clean up my brows and prime my eyelids. And y'all, this LA Girl Pro Concealer has been the real MVP forever. So next up, I'm taking this Air Spell and Loose Face Powder, and mine is in Naturally Neutral. I really do like this for setting my eyelids before doing eyeshadow, but I do not use this shit for under eye highlighting. No, ma'am. It will not look right. Unless you're like a... Where is my brush, honey? Where is the brush? Okay, here it is. But it will not look right, you guys, unless you are like a lighter skin tone or something like that. So this has also been a favorite of mine, you guys. It is the NYX Lid Lingerie Palette. And y'all, just look at these colors in this palette. Like, they're lit. So I've normally, um, I really don't wear eyeshadow like that, you guys. Not on a daily basis and not for like an everyday kind of makeup look. Um, so I'm going to just go into this burnt um, orangish ready shade and put this all over my crease and on my lid. lashes I'm using the kiss easy lashes number 11s I have talked about these lashes so much here on my channel you guys it's ridiculous kiss if you're watching this video y'all look out for you girl because these are bomb.com so um anyways um I have them in my little eyelash container and I'm just going to be applying these to my eyes so I did my lashes off camera. If you guys want to see a full video on how I apply my false eyelashes, I will leave a card for it somewhere up in here. So now moving on with the face, I'm using my favorite foundation. It's not my favorite over my Estee Lauder Double Wear that always is number one. No one has taken that spot. This is my number two, the Fenty Beauty Foundation, you guys. This foundation is gorgeous. I have a full review on this as well. I will link it. It's flawless. All of that. It'll be somewhere right here, up in there, somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and start applying this to my skin. Oh my God, I need some right here, y'all, but I don't even want to burn my face. It already looked burnt. And this is my favorite foundation brush. This is the Ultimate Blending Brush by e.l.f. And I'm just going to blend this foundation into my skin. And I never really apply foundation to my forehead, but I just pretty much take whatever is left over on the brush and just apply it to my forehead. For concealer, I am using the Tarte Shape Tape and this is in the shade Tan Sand. Y'all, this concealer is so lit. I originally got the shade Deep, but I felt like that one was a little bit too dark for me. It just matched my skin tone too much. And I really do like a really highlighted look. 
At first I didn't, but now I'm starting to really like it. You guys are going to see the magic happen right here. YouTube saw it first. So because I'm using the shade Tan Sand, I do not use a whole lot of this concealer because it's because it is super bright and it is super light and I don't apply it so into my eye area because I want it to blend out flawlessly. So yeah, let me go ahead and blend it out. And you guys, you do not even need setting powder for this concealer. That's how bomb it is once it dries down. Because it's already dried down, I'm pretty much just blending everything out. And as you guys can see, I was like, I'm sure y'all was like, what the hell is she doing? But now as, it, as I'm blending it out, you guys can see um, what I was talking about. And watch the magic happen, girl, because it just happened. Did y'all see it? And to set my highlighted areas, I'm going to take the Sasha Buttercup powder and set all the areas that I applied highlighter to. So next, I'm going to take this e.l.f. highlighting brush and I'm just going to sweep um, that powder off of my face. So now we're going to skip back to eyes real quick. I'm taking the Colossal Big Shot Mascara and I'm going to apply this to my top and bottom lashes. So I am going to set my face with the Black Radiant Soft Focus Powder. Y'all, this powder is bomb. I have been using this powder like literally every time that I do my makeup. And I am in the shade uh, Creamy Bronze Finish. That's what it's called. And I really don't even have to set my face. But because I have combination skin, I am going to set it. But the foundation is so matte, just like the concealer, you guys. So I really don't even have to set, but I am because I do not want to look like a grease ball by the end of the day. And I'm only using a little. I literally tapped in this powder twice, used some over here, used some over here, and that was it. So to bronze up my skin just a little bit, I'm going to take the CoverGirl Queen Bronzer and I'm going to use this like in my forehead area and a little bit on my cheek area. And I feel like with this concealer and with the foundation, you guys, I really don't have to contour or bronze up my skin because I feel like it does the job. Because once you add that lighter highlighter um, to your under eyes and whatever areas, other areas you like to highlight, you really don't need it because your foundation kind of acts as like a contour. And my favorite blushes have been the e.l.f. palette. And I'm going to take this uh, beautiful peachy shade because I am going to rock darker lips today and I don't want my makeup to look too heavy so I'm going to take this um, peachy shade and apply it to my cheeks and you want to put your blush right on top of your bronzer or contour or whatever it is that you do now for my favorite part highlighter I love to highlight you guys it just gives your skin a really good glow so I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Gold Bar and I'm taking this little highlighter brush and I'm just going to sweep it in my highest point of my cheek area And then I'm going to take my favorite liquid liner. Now when I do wear eyeliner, you guys, this is typically the eyeliner that I go for. And this is the Jordana Fabu Liner. And I like that it has a felt tip. So I'm just going to take it and fill in my mold. Before we move on to lips, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and spraying my face. So 
So honestly, you guys, my favorite lip has been the ColourPop Times. I love Sahari um, and Ariba. And I actually have a video on this as well. And I will link that video as well. But I'm not wearing red today. So I believe I'm going to go for the ColourPop Limbo or the ColourPop Tansy. So this is Tansy. Mm. And this is Limbo. I think I'm going to start off with Tansy and I'm going to see how I like this. If not, Limbo is always a favorite of mine. And I'm just going to line my lips using this MAC Lip Liner in Chestnut. I like this but I think I want to go darker so I think I'm going to apply limbo I don't know what do y'all think oh yes ma'am oh yes ma'am I like this better so I think I'm gonna stick to the limbo I'm gonna wait for it to dry a little bit <laughs> 